Welcome to Bite at a Time Books, where we read you your favorite classics one bite at a time. My name is Brie Carlisle, and I love to read and wanted to share my passion with listeners like you. If you want to know what's coming next and vote on upcoming books, sign up for our newsletter at biteatatimebooks.com. You'll also find our new t-shirts in the shop, including podcast shirts and quote shirts from your favorite classic novels. Be sure to follow my show on your favorite podcast platform so you get all the new episodes. You can find most of our links in the show notes. But also our website, biteatatimebooks.com, includes all of the links for our show, including to our Patreon to support the show, and YouTube, where we have special behind-the-narration of the episodes. We're part of the Bite at a Time Books Productions Network. If you'd also like to hear what inspired your favorite classic authors to write their novels— and what was going on in the world at the time, check out the Bite at a Time Books Behind the Story podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. Please note, while we try to keep the text as close to the original as possible, some words have been changed to honor the marginalized communities who've identified the words as harmful and to stay in alignment with Bite at a Time Books brand values. Today we'll be continuing Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. Chapter 5. Prayer. They pray. To whom? To God? To pray to God? What is the meaning of these words? Is there an infinite beyond us? Is that infinite there inherent, permanent, necessarily substantial, since it is infinite? And because if it lacked matter, it would be bounded, necessarily intelligent. Since it is infinite, and because if it lacked intelligence, it would end there? Does this infinite awaken in us the idea of essence, while we can attribute to ourselves only the idea of existence? In other terms, is it not the absolute of which we are only the relative? At the same time that there is an infinite without us, is there not an infinite within us? Are not these two infinites, what an alarming plural, superposed, the one upon the other, is not the second infinite, so to speak, subjacent to the first? Is it not the latter's mirror, reflection, echo, an abyss which is concentric with another abyss? Is the second infinity intelligent also? Does it think? Does it love? Does it will? If these two infinites are intelligent, each of them has a will principle, and there is an eye in the upper infinity as there is an eye in the lower infinity. The eye below is the soul. The eye on high is God. To place the infinity here below in contact by the medium of thought with the infinity on high is called praying. Let us take nothing from the human mind. To suppress is bad. We must reform and transform. Certain faculties in man are directed towards the unknown. Thought, reverie, prayer. The unknown is an ocean. What is conscience? It is the compass of the unknown. Thought, reverie, prayer. These are great and mysterious radiations. Let us respect them. Whither go these majestic irradiations of the soul? Into the shadow. That is to say, to the light. The grandeur of democracy is to disown nothing and to deny nothing of humanity. Close to the right of man, beside it, at the least, there exists the right of the soul. To crush fanaticism and to venerate the infinite, such as the law. Let us not confine ourselves to prostrating ourselves before the tree of creation, and to the contemplation of its branches full of stars. We have a duty to labor over the human soul, to defend the mystery against the miracle, to adore the incomprehensible and reject the absurd, to admit as an inexplicable fact, only what is necessary, to purify belief, to remove superstitions from above religion, to clear God of caterpillars. Thank you for joining Bite at a Time Books today, while we read a bite of one of your favorite classics. Again, my name is Brie Carlisle, and I hope you come back tomorrow for the next bite of Les Miserables. Don't forget to sign up for our newsletter at biteatatimebooks.com and check out the shop, you can check out the show notes or our website, biteatatimebooks.com, for the rest of the links for our show. We'd love to hear from you on social media as well.